Alright, so let's be lazy and just kind of click down here, see how it works. Hands-free movements! Oh, hey, there's another loot. More gold. It's too bad there's no, like, way to control the camera easily outside of... Yeah, see, even the left-clicking... Oh, jeez, I just... Okay, so the yellow bar is indicated by endurance. And I can use potions and such to restore endurance, which I'm going to do now. Like this bottled water. Look at that. Tasty. Alright, so he is somewhere over there, apparently. Yep, let's click the fire of the place and just take the quick way around. That way I don't have to actually move, use my hands, because I'm lazy. Why are you going this way? Taking the long way around, huh? So what does this do? Left click on a lit campfire to meditate. Oh, I can do that anyways. Cool. Okay. Meditate zero hours. Oops. Escape doesn't do what I thought it would do. Lambert. I guess I need to talk to you. Ah, <laughs> the little icon like opens its mouth. What do you need? I've got all the ingredients. Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Okay, so now... Oh, I have a, ingre a formula? Potion for Triss. Vitrio. What is this? Uh... Interesting. Oh, I can make white gull, too, which is kind of neat. Oh, wow, this is neat. Aether, calcium, equum, frightener's claw, and frightener's eye. There's a bunch of ingredients. I got a glossary. So the mages are rare individuals with power. Unless the individual in question learns to control their power, they may end up having say and slobbering. That's always nice. Mages age slower than other people. Oh, I have that thing in my inventory I haven't used yet. The uh, the the book. Okay, nothing more repulsive than a mon the, than these monsters that defy nature. Okay, we're offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft. Kinky. I should mention this game is based on a book series, I believe. Uh, this Kaer Morin is where these villains nest and practice foul rituals. They must be wiped off. So now, I have a glossary entry in my journal on witchers. They need witchers, but they're afraid of them because we're mutants with superhuman powers. Cool. This is like the X-Men, but ancient, or well, medieval. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She yeah. was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. Yay. I've been keeping them for you. Are there any other witchers? Are there other witchers? There were three Witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the Witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Oh. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. Well, he they often could. ran away from Kaer Morin, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Neat. Um, why isn't he here? Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Aw. Uh, so Lambert gave me the formula. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gull and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Yay. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell him about the other thing. Hey. 
Yes? There was another thing. Uh, can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. You know, I think it's kind of awkward that I keep repeating it, saying what I'm going to say instead of just clicking the button letting him say the same exact thing. Can I ask you something? Of course. Uh, so you mentioned defending... You ah. mentioned defending Kermoran before. Did it again. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, 23 witches and 40 students called Kaer Morhen home. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witches. But no. Someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still, the fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Ooh. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. Can Was there I one other thing something? to ask? Of course. I don't even remember. Any idea who attacked? Any idea who attacked? Dang it! No. The mage <laughs> suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. All right. Well, uh, we'll speak we'll later. We'll speak later. Dang it! I gotta stop doing that. It's just disappointing me that I keep repeating myself, basically. All right. So, oh, what did I get? Um, a studded leather jacket, a steel sword. Oh, I think. Huh? Why is it like they both highlight? That's interesting. That's better than the rusty sword, at least. Would have sucked if I just kept it. Uh. If I, so if I open this, is it gonna dual wield? No. Is there like a... There's no hotkey button to switch between weapons, apparently. That's kind of lame. I wonder if later games fix this. But I'll find out eventually, because, I mean, I'm gonna play them. Don't get me wrong. Alright, so where is... There's a siege cauldron. Oh, there is the witchers, the remains of the thingy. I have a s iron dagger. I move a little faster. Okay, so left click the monster to extract alchemical components. I have to know about the ingredients before I can collect them. So I've got to read about stuff. Claw and an eyeball. Cool. So I have to go back. This is very fetch questy, but I don't mind because it's early in the game. That's kind of a common deal. All right. So let's see, let's unequip that. Wait, I move slower without the knife. That's crazy. Hey, Vesemir. Yes. I got the things. Where are the people? Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library. And Eskel's taking Triss to a room. I have the stuff. I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest and prepare the potion according to the formula. What are you looking at? What if I get them wrong? What if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Oh Where? boy. I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time. It's not that hard. We'll speak later. All right, so the campfire. Oh, it's the fire. What the hell? You were right there. There we go. Had to click like four times. So the vial... I don't see a vial. Uh, there it is. Okay, so let's click the mix. Select the formula. Okay, so the potion for Triss needs vitriol and rebus. What? Oh, okay, I get it. So the uh, 
pieces have stuff in them. Oh, that's kind of neat. Alright, so that's, that's actually pretty cool. And I need a white goal as the base. Mix. And now I should have the thing. Oh, there's a Frightener's Vision that I should have probably looked at beforehand. So does the X mean I don't have the thing? Oh, well, let's just rest for it. For an hour! Because why not? Why waste any more time than I have to? Hmm? Hey, whoa. Whoa now, don't just join me at the fire. That's kind of weird, dude. So now I have a potion formula for a potion made using a Frightener's Eye. Grants one bronze talent. Whoa! Just gives me a talent point? Uh, it requires a stuff. That's interesting. Okay. Let's, uh, talk to Vesemir. Yes? Uh, never mind. Let's We're not going to talk to Vesemir because he has nothing to say to us, I guess. That's nice. In a not very nice way. So I guess they're all upstairs. I suppose if there was something new to loot, the uh, stuff would have new stuff. If that made sense, which it probably didn't. Alright. These stairs are long. And I guess she is in... Oh, this is Triss's room. Okay. I can just walk through the doors when I start opening them. That's kind of neat. Uh, where are you? Are you farther up? I guess so. Maybe not. Steal your stuff. Flint and some dark beer. I don't mind. Yeah, I'm just stealing all your stuff. I'm the best witcher. Let's keep the scrolls up here. Um, yeah. Okay, so they do stack if they have the same effects. Triss! Whoa, she's having a very impressive dream. Double click on the healing potion to give it to Triss. Win favors to others by giving them stuff. I have something for you. Oh, the potion is a quest item. So do I just, like, drag it over here? I do. Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. <laughs> it was, wasn't a dream. Set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? Uh, um, I guess we have the time. I suppose. Suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Uh, you helped us. I mean, eh. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I miss you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Whoa now, is this gonna get all perverse? Am I gonna have to censor things? <laughs> I might. The bed is moving. Jeez. Whoa now. I got a card? She gave me a postcard? <laughs> oh, 
Geralt. A pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. Protege. You the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Uh, do you know anything about the sorcerer? Can you store my memory? Thefts? Uh, ransacker. Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. Uh. Hold on. Geralt, can we go? Uh, memory. Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? What about the theft? The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What oh, about no. wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? Uh, I'll come back to you when I'm ready. I need to do something. I'll come back and get you when I'm ready. So what did I... Something about a cat? Was it a formula? Cats. Grants night vision. Okay. Neat. So what do I have to do right now as far as the quest? Speak with Triss or Vesemir. Go to Leo's funeral. Garrett, Wait, is she the girl from the big intro video that was turning into a monster? Because that'd be kind of neat. We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. Ooh, saving. That's nice. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal then climate. Then I'll head east to Kedwin, unless someone objects. Interrupting people, That's rude. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. Hmm. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. Neat. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. Don't you tell me what to do. I'll die if I want to die. Oh, she can just teleport. Ooh, she couldn't. See, Couldn't do it for me, though, I guess.